guys, Joy here. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you 10 awesome ways to get a better sleep. I don't know about you, but I love sleeping and I feel my best when I get like a full eight hours of sleep. So there are certain steps I take every day to prepare myself for a good sleep. You probably know that sleep is called beauty sleep for a reason. That's because skin cells regenerate more throughout the nighttime when you're sleeping. Healing happens, regeneration happens more at night than any other time of the day. Same thing with your muscle cells and your bone cells. The other incredible thing that happens when you're sleeping is that your brain literally detoxes itself. Uh, so your neurological cache is cleansed when you're sleeping. So you know that monkey brain a lot of people have? Well, it's really important to make sure you make sleep a priority to calm that monkey brain. And also when you're sleeping, inflammatory chemicals go down, cortisol, your stress hormone goes down. So make sleep a priority. Whenever I hear people say to me, oh, I'll sleep when I'm dead, I always think to myself, man, they're gonna be at their grave faster if they don't make sleep a priority. So I'm gonna share with you 10 tips to get a great night's sleep so that you feel refreshed, you look great, you feel great, your appetite is in check. So my first tip for you is actually pretty simple. Go to bed at the same time every night, but also get up at the same time every day because this really helps your internal clock. Your body loves routine. So if, for example, you go to bed at 2 a.m. one night and then the next night you're going at to bed at 8 p.m. and the next night you're going to bed at 11 p.m., then you're getting up at all different times. And this is terrible for your body's internal clock. It also really messes up your appetite hormones too, like when your body knows to tell you, hey, I'm hungry. So stick to your routine as much as you possibly can. So my second tip is to make sure that you have some form of exercise every single day. A lot of people tell me they feel so wired at night and they just feel anxious or they're just, their brain is running a million miles a minute and their body just doesn't feel tired. Well, if your body feels physically tired because you've exercised, this is a great way to help you get a better sleep. So it doesn't mean you have to go to the gym or you have to do some high intense exercise. It can be as simple as making sure that you get out for a power walk, you get your heart rate up, you feel like you've actually done something. Whatever kind of exercise you like to do, just make sure that you do it every single day. My third tip is to avoid eating late at night. We all know how we feel when we've had a huge meal. Um, you know, oftentimes people tell me they have heartburn and they're just feeling really yucky before bed. So avoiding eating before bed is key because when you eat right before bed, this raises your body temperature, which is not great for the release of melatonin. You won't secrete melatonin when this body temperature is raised and you, your body senses food in the gut. Melatonin and also growth hormone. Those are hormones that are secreted at night. And the other thing is, if you really feel very hungry before you go to bed, that's not good either. So you don't wanna eat a big meal and you don't wanna feel hungry. So you find your sweet spot which is why I have this lovely little snack here that I wanted to show you, uh, which is very blood sugar balancing. I've got just a handful of raw organic almonds and I also have a couple of apricots. You notice that they're brown, they're not orange. That's because they don't have any preservatives. So this type of snack, perfect before bed, but have it only if you're actually hungry. Just remember though, avoid eating a heavy meal before bed. Number four is to avoid drinking alcohol. Now, if you love your wine, you love your beer, this is making you very upset, just remember, sleep is so important for regeneration of all your cells. Sleep is so important to look beautiful. Sleep is so important for energy. So alcohol, a lot of people have this misconception that it actually helps them sleep better because maybe they feel like more dopey and drowsy, but that's actually not true. Sure, you may feel dopey and drowsy, but it actually negatively affects your sleep. And let me explain why. The body metabolizes alcohol as you sleep, which causes sleep interruptions. And alcohol may actually cause sleep disorders because it seems to affect the brain chemicals that affect sleep and alcohol promotes blood sugar imbalance, which is the last thing you want to be in balance when you're trying to get into a deep sleep. And if that wasn't enough, alcohol affects the amount of time it takes you to fall asleep, your total sleep time, 
and your body's ability to get into those deeper stages of sleep, which are so important because that's where most of the healing happens for the body. Now, a small glass of wine with dinner uh, is not a huge problem if you aren't eating your dinner and then going right to bed. It takes about 90 minutes on average to metabolize one ounce of alcohol. So if you are drinking a lot right before bed, then it's gonna totally throw off your sleep. Number five is to avoid TV before bed. Uh, you might guess I don't have a TV in my bedroom and I actually do not recommend having a television in your bedroom. Also, your bedroom should be off limits for your iPad, any sort of devices, your laptop, don't bring that in your bedroom. Your bedroom should be an oasis for sleeping. So instead, I brought actually two books that are on my night table that I'm reading right now, books. Books are an awesome thing to read before bed. So for me, um, I am a parent now, so I'm like always all into these parenting books here. So it's great though, because I cuddle up into bed, I get nice and comfortable, I have the light uh, dim, my, the room is dimly lit, and I read these books. And oftentimes I will you know, be half asleep when I'm trying to get through a chapter, but that's okay. I just turn on my light, I put the book down, and I go into a deep, delicious sleep. Number six is something I personally love doing, and that's having a bath. Maybe not in the heat of the summer when it, it's so hot outside, the last thing you wanna do is dip into a warm bath, but I love having a detox bath. So this here, these are just bath salts. Um, I like to use dead sea salt as well, and I put, uh, I have some fresh lavender in here. I also sometimes use a lavender essential oil in my bath, and lavender is great because it's really calming and stress reducing, and having a warm bath, I just find the nights that I have a bath, I just feel like a noodle when I get out of the bath and I you know, just like wanna crawl right into bed. So this is really great for you. Like if you have a super stressful day and you're running around and it's just like nuts and you feel like so spun when you get home from work, then having a bath is a really, really great way to really help you relax so that you can set the stage for a good sleep. Number seven is something that I do every single night without fail and that is in my cute little cup here, I drink tea. So I love all different types of teas. I like chamomile teas, I like peppermint teas, herbal teas that don't have caffeine, rooibos tea. Uh, I love having tea in the evening because it's such a calming, it's really a joyous ritual for me, but for sure there are teas that have properties in them that help to relax the body. So you could either do it while you're having your detox bath or you could do it before. Number eight, now you may have noticed what I'm leaning against here, and this is very important, guys. Of all the things I'm gonna talk about, when you're actually in bed, you wanna make sure you're comfortable. So I brought with me my pillow. I love my pillow. I also love my mattress, but my mattress was too big to show it to you. So this pillow is made from natural latex rubber, so it's completely hypoallergenic, so there are no dust mites. Dust mites just like have an allergy themselves to this type of material. Uh, and it is eco as well, uh, good for the environment, doesn't off gas, and it is just, I love my pillow so much, it is so comfortable. And we also have, Walker, my husband, has the same pillow. You love your pillow too, right loves? We both really love our pillows. And our mattress is, as well is a natural latex rubber has no smell, does not emit any chemicals, and I think this is really important. Think how much time you spend in your bed sleeping, and you wanna make sure that the pillow and the mattress is the most comfortable possible. Now, when I was doing research on what mattress and what pillow to buy, um, at first I was like getting a little worried because I found that a lot of the eco cleaner mattresses were really, really expensive. So I found a brand that I like, and what I did was just do some sleuthing. I found a 20% off coupon, and that's basically what we did. So we got the whole set for very, very affordable. So tip number nine, I'm sure you can guess, is sleep in complete darkness. You don't even want a crack of light coming in your bedroom. 
If you don't have the opportunity to sleep in complete darkness because your curtains just aren't dark enough, then get a sleep mask. Um, even though I sleep in complete darkness, like I like the bedroom so that you, I can't even see my hand in front of my face. I still love an eye mask and it's nice to have an eye mask handy, especially if you travel a lot. Um, if you're sleeping on airplanes, for example, get a sleep mask. It will really help you to get into a deep sleep. And the other thing is, if you're not sleeping in complete darkness, then your body, your brain doesn't secrete melatonin and that is your sleep hormone. And my final tip for healthy sleep, once you get into bed, if you feel like your mind is kind of racing or you just have that monkey brain and you can't get into a deep sleep, just breathe. So you may have seen my last video that Walker and I filmed together. I'm gonna to show you this here and this is our relaxation uh, breathing exercise that I recommend. So just to remind you, you can check out the video, but basically you breathe in for a count of four, you hold for a count of seven, and you breathe out for a count of eight. Do that like 10 times while you're laying in bed and really just focus your mind on the breath. If that doesn't work, the other thing you can do is you can journal. Um, and I like doing like a constant stream of consciousness so having your journal at your bedside table, your nightstand, whatever you wanna call it, and just pick up the pen and just write down whatever comes to your mind or write out a to-do list. If you just need to kind of do a brain dump, that really helps. And you could do your breathing at the same time um, as you're doing sort of your journaling. So that was my 10 tips for healthy sleep. I have one extra one I just thought of now, a bonus. If you sleep with someone, if you're sleeping with your spouse or your partner or your kids are in the bed, make sure you have lots of hugs and cuddles so that you're going to bed with a positive mindset, feeling good about the day, you know, sharing with your partner what you're grateful for is such a great way to, you know, get into a deep slumber feeling joyous. So if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up comment below let me know what you think ask me your questions tell me how your sleep is these days and if you need any help if you have any questions just let me know i'm happy to talk to you guys so i hope you have a joyous sleep tonight and i will see you guys next week bye hey guys hope you love this video if you want to see more then subscribe to my channel